whether you're watching this in the morning, the day, or the night, good morning, scientists. This is Mr. Fixie. Uh, today with our first video, I just wanted to give you a lowdown of Google Classroom, uh, show you a little bit of, about what is going to be on there, and talk about what you're expected to do daily. Um, kind of talk and walk through what you should do when you sit down to do your science work on your computer at home. Um, well, first of all, you should make sure that you have your workspace clean, tidy, and set and ready to go. Uh, I probably have a pencil and some paper out in case you want to take notes or um, if you want to fill something out so that when you do an online uh, assignment, it's a little easier to have something to reference directly. Uh, you definitely want to be without any distractions. As you can see, I'm alone. Um, I even have some low lighting so I can focus a little better uh, and I don't get distracted by anything going on. I have my phone off and set to um, set off to the side so that I'm not distracted and I don't have to worry about using it. And then once you're ready to go, once you're ready for school, because you need to set up your home like it's going to be school, uh, you should log directly into Google Classroom, which you can see I'm already here. Uh, and you'll see at the top, there's always posted every day. They'll be posted the date, which when you're watching this, it'll be Monday the 31st. Uh, I won't always have this key here. I will in the beginning, though, uh, as we get used to it. Um, so anything that you can read in the procedure that has a CW means it's relating to what we did in class, what the classwork was, uh, whether that be what the in-person students did in the classroom or what you are going to do at home. That is what your classwork is. Anything that is HW is homework, something that I am expecting for you to do even after you log off here. That's something that is homework. Um, you likely will be able to finish it while you're doing the video or work on it while that's happening, but anyone who is in class will be doing this at home. And then anything that's labeled the POL is going to be specifically for those of you that are Panthers online, for you at home. Um, and then after uh, we've been doing this for a little while, I'll take this key away and we'll just have the date followed by the agenda. So today is just the welcome to my class, just to kind of figure things out. It's the first day of school. It's your first day doing online school. Uh, so you probably have a couple things you're a little nervous about. Uh, and here, this will just walk you straight through what I want for you to do. Uh, this is what we're doing in class, and this is also what you're going to be doing here. Uh, you can see that you can log into Google Classroom, which assumingly you've already gotten the chance to do that. Uh, if you're watching this video, you must have <laughs> gotten into Google Classroom somehow. And then you should fill out your planner. Uh, you can do that by pulling up the 7th grade or the 8th grade planner page, which you can find it on uh, the DLPMS website. Um, I'll also be sure to link it on here, too, so that you can find it easily. Uh, the third and very important thing that you should do every single day, every time you log in, is do your attendance. Uh, I can't do attendance for you. I don't know if you log in online or not um, every single day. I know who comes in because I see them. Uh, but for you online, you do have to mark yourself for attendance. In order to do that, you can click on your classwork tab up here, and then you'll see Panther Online. I have a category specifically designed for you, and you'll fill out this online attendance. Uh, it isn't posted right now on my screen because it won't post until tomorrow, so it should be posted on your screen when you watch this video. Um, and you'll see that this is a Google Form here. When you pull up this Google Form, you'll just need to fill it out. Super simple. Name, first name, last name, and what hour, what class are you in. Uh, you'll do this for more than just my class. You'll do it for multiple. Um, but when you do attendance for my class, make sure you open up the daily attendance through that tab. If you pull it up through anyone else's, I won't be able to get your answer. So you need to pull up the attendance through our Google Classroom so that I know that you are in my class. After you do your daily attendance, You'll see right below it, attendance is your interactive online journal. That is what you're going to be doing uh, every single day as well. Uh, so these four things are relatively going to stay the same every single day of the year. When you go to do your weekly journal, you'll find that here. And this is something that we're doing a person in the, in the exact same way. You'll find your science journals here. All right. We'll have one for each week. When you open it up, it will seem, it will be fairly um, simple, fairly plain. You can see right now it's just the online journal, just the title page. Um, and what you'll see here in the first thing is your, is your journal. And you can see I even have a little bit of the schedule here. We have 
planners, which there's links to the 7th and 8th grade planner pages right here. You have online attendance, which again, it's linked right here. You can use this link as well. Uh, there's a hall pass, which we actually won't be using. You don't need to worry about that while you're at home. Uh, you can get up and use the bathroom whenever you need to. Um, but then here, there's a complete the journal question and answer uh, that question that's posted. Um, and so you'll do this every single day. I'll have um, most of the schedule posted here. Um, and you'll type in the journal question and answer it here. But where is this journal question, you might ask? If you go back, you'll always find the question directly below interactive journal. So either question mark, there's the cue for question. And the question for this week is, what do you think that you know about me? And what leads you to believe that? So what do you think you already know about me? Do you know what school I went to? Do you know what things I'm interested in? Have you heard anything from maybe previous 8th graders or previous 7th graders about how I might teach or something else about me? Is there anything you gathered about my personality from maybe my first couple of videos? What do you think you know about me? And what evidence leads you to believe that? Remember, in science, we're always worried about evidence. You can have a claim however you want, but you need to back it up with evidence. So what you'll do is you'll type in the question here. Exactly as it's written. Uh, you can actually copy and paste it if you're like me and you're a little lazy. We'll make that a little bigger so it's easy to read. Then you'll type your answer here. I know that Mr. Fixie rocks my socks off. Hey, at least all, you all know that now. You all know that I rock socks off. Toes out. So that's something that you'll do every single day. The question uh, will not always be opinion based about me. Uh, it, will it will be related to our science topics that we're talking about. Um, but I just thought I'd have a fun first question there. Uh, and then you'll see posted afterward the list of classworks that we're doing. So in class, we're talking about procedures, just like we're doing on this video. In class, we'll be talking about procedures and things related to that. And then for Panther Online, which is all of you, uh, you'll watch the attached loom video, which is not attached to this post because I'm recording it right now. I can't link it and record it at the same time. So uh, this post will be a little different when you actually get the chance to see it. So. If you have any questions, make sure to email me. Uh, you can also contact me through Google Classroom. You can go to the people and you can find me there and email me via people. So you'll be able to find me there. Uh, and I hope that you have a great first day and good luck. Um, and so this has been Mr. Fixie, delivering science to your door.